Well, here we are on YouTube. Sound like a jingle. Well, here we are on YouTube. The best place in the world. What's happening? What's, what are we doing, Ryan? Well, first, before we get into this, we do have to make the announcement. New artist alert! New artist alert! <laughs> oh, the batteries died or something. Okay, it's, it's been a while since it's been a while. It's been a while since, <laughs> since we had new artists. Now, Nathan, have you ever heard of Oliver Anthony? Nope, never. No, and you never would have. Uh, I don't know the whole story here. I don't know. People don't add us in the comments. I don't care right now. I'll just tell you what, <laughs> like I like meaning like the, our live comments. I don't because I, I can't read it while I'm talking. So mm -hmm. all I know is he he's nobody in the sense of like you and I are nobody in the sense of popular culture. Uh, mm -hmm. However, he released a song that struck a nerve with the public and became viral. That's essentially it. He doesn't have hmm. a label. Uh, this is a couple little tidbits on him. I'll tell you right now. Okay. Uh, Anthony, Oliver Anthony is not his real name. He actually, his real name is, it's his stage name, believe it or not. He is Christopher Anthony Lunsford. He dropped out of high school at the age of 17. He lives off the grid currently in rural Virginia. He lives in a $100,000 camper. He still owes $60,000 on it, he said. Mm -hmm. um, he now has fans that are celebrities. People like Joe Rogan, John Rich have reached out to him after this song. And he himself struggles with his own mental health. Wow. And this song, um, this is what he had to say. is, I don't want to be in the spotlight. I wrote the music I wrote because I was suffering from mental health and depression. The stories that have been shared paint a brutally honest picture. Suicide, addiction, unemployment, anxiety, and depression, hopelessness, and the list goes on. These songs have connected with millions of people on such a deep level because they're being sung by someone feeling the words in the very moment they're being sung. So that's what we're about to watch. Yeah. So it's basically he's being real and it like made made the algorithms kind of like disrupt because it's an honest raw performance so i have not heard the yeah. song i only heard, like literally just to set it up so i know kind mm -hmm. of what the styling is going to be like of course when you see him you'll see oh okay but mm -hmm. so what i find fascinating is amazing like 40 million views on youtube in two weeks and what i find fascinating is that it has struck a nerve because obviously we all feel these things lately and it seems like on a collective mass i don't know what the lyrics are i've got them up right now just to read along i kind of want to watch them too so i'll be going back and forth um but what I love is like this is a no production song. Like it's just him and guitar singing. So we just talked about a previous video with a big production and everything. And there's all these artists out there with big production teams and uh, you know, billions of dollars spent on the video and he whatever the camera costs to upload this video, and that's it. And I, I love that kind of stuff. I love it when a no a no a nobody mm -hmm. hits a big. So all right. What's well, the name I, of the song? What's the name of the song? Oh, the song is called Rich Men Rich Men North of Richmond. So I've got the lyrics up too. Okay, you ready? I'm ready. All right, let's do it. Well, I've been selling my soul, working all day, overtime hours for bullshit pay, so I can sit out here and waste my life away, drag back home and drown my troubles away. It's a damn shame what the world's gotten to for people like me. People like you wish I could just wake up and it not be true, but it is. Oh, it is living in the new world with an old soul. These rich men know the rich men. out for miners and not just miners on an island somewhere lord we got folks in the street ain't got nothing to eat and the whole beast milk and welfare well, god if you're five foot three and you're 300 pounds taxes ought not to pay for your bags of fudge rounds young men 
putting themselves six feet in the ground Cause all this damn country does is keep on kicking them down Lord, it's a damn shame what the world's gotten to For people like me, people like you Wish I could just wake up and it not be true But it is you do and they don't think you know but I know that you do cause your dollar ain't shit and it's tax to no hen cause the rich men know the rich men Selling my soul, working all day, overtime hours for bullshit pay. I can see why this struck a nerve. Mm -hmm. Thoughts? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I, he's he's speaking to a, a, a and I don't want to like get political with this but i do think that there's a, a a value in what he's saying and that that there's there's a lot of people who are disenfranchised with just the way that things feel um whether that's government's fault whether that's you know but they there there's an eagerness to kind of push that that blame on something and say this is why i'm the way things are the way they are um there's a lot of factors that are that are making this difficult for people right now um, and government's part of that, I would say definitely. And I think that that he's speaking to that that he's speaking to that. That's what people are latching on to and saying like that's that's what I'm feeling too. I'm feeling the same way. Yeah. Yeah. Um, actually, I had a friend send me this video, and I didn't watch it, and I mm -hmm. won't say who the friend is because I know why they sent it. Um, if mm -hmm. that makes sense. I I mm -hmm. saw the thumbnail. I saw hmm. the title of the song. I'm like, oh, I want to, I want to watch this with my uh, my best friend, mm -hmm. uh, because I just, I had a feeling it, what the message was going to be. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I like the line, "I'm an old soul," or "I'm living in the new world with an old soul," or whatever that yeah. was. I, I feel Agreed. that way. Favorite I, line. Yeah, I feel that way completely. I, I look. I'll be very honest here and very uh, real. I have often felt like I don't belong here, not with my family, my wife and kids. I'm not talking about that. Like I wish I could, I wish I could whisk them away. I mean, mm. even when I was a teenager, I remember wanting to be abducted. I know it sounds silly, but I wanted to be like taken off this planet and taken somewhere else. Cause I just felt like I didn't, I, I people can't relate with me. I can't relate with people like on an on the only few people can. And I've even had troubles mm. with, you know, you and my own family and relating. And sometimes I just feel alone. And it feels stupid and feel like nobody understands me. And, and then on top of that, it, it gets frustrating too when we live in this world. Yeah, it's death and taxes. Like, oh, cool. Hmm. Cool. I'm working to retirement so I can still work after retire so I can pay taxes and pay mortgage. It's just like, holy shnikes, man. Anyways, I'm getting all over the place, but I get the pain and I get the frustration. So this guy's ener energy, but this guy's emotions and uh, uh, his passion and his metaphorical at times lyrics. Mm -hmm. Not so metaphorical with some of them, uh, you know. I, I I get it. It's frustrating. It's frustrating. And there are people at top at the top who are just they're not good people. They're not mm. good people. They do not have your interest at heart. They do not. Yeah. And uh, yeah. So I get it. I feel it, and it's frustrating. Uh, and I know. Look, we live in a great country. Yes, and he does too. Uh, he obviously American. We're Canadian. Uh, we have a lot of opportunities here that a lot of other countries don't have. Um, we get that, but it still can be mm -hmm. very frustrating that the plights of mankind everywhere seem to be. <sighs> yeah. It, it, yeah. So he, here's what my concern is about the video generally, because sure. I think it's so great that he's getting recognized for this. Mm. I think one of the most challenging things for people that get recognized is now what? 
what do you do with this yeah. fame? Because this is born out of this like yeah. frustration about how the rich man gets all the money and I get nothing. Right. Like, this this will shoot him up, you know, a couple of steps higher where more people are going to want him to put out more music. And, you know, I just hope sure. that it doesn't like taint his <laughs> like. Well, he says he doesn't want to be in the spotlight. He said that he doesn't want to be in the yeah. spotlight. So he'll get a couple gonna, dollars. Inevitably, money is going to come, yeah. come in. Yeah. Um, and the recognition it's not so much the it isn't always about money it's about like now you get recognition and mm. and people say, you know how do you deal with that some people deal with it great some people just keep moving on and they don't care you know they just uh they, it doesn't phase them but some yeah. people it it does bad things to them. so anyway my hope is that he keeps on just ignoring that and and making making more realistic from the heart kind of music because that's what that was if it was 100 percent like this is what i'm feeling i'm writing this down i'm gonna say it i'm gonna put it in a music in a into some some uh anyway and then everyone watched it and a lot of people are, are feeling that so yeah all right hey if you're struggling with mental health of course talk to a friend talk to a family member talk to a trusted loved one who will listen to you uh yeah you're loved you're or, loved by whelp the whelp them loves or, you yeah or write a song or we'll, write a song yeah yeah all right there you go thanks everyone who watched us and uh, we appreciate it yeah thank you so much and uh, we will see you on the next one